What's up fam, it's your boy Demir here, purveyor of all sounds underground. Thank you for joining me on my YouTube channel today where we will be discussing the topic of acoustic treatment in my room. It's been a long time coming to get to this place, but I'm happy I've done what I've done to this room because it's given me so much advantages that I'll share the details of a little bit later on. But before we jump into things, what I need from you is that SLC. Hit subscribe, like, comment, and more importantly, hit the notifications bell to stay in touch with the new videos that we have up and coming. All right, so let's jump into the details of my room's acoustic treatment. I think the most important thing that I've done is not necessarily in this room before we started building things out, but it was to get a consultant. And that's my homeboy, Marco from uh, Acoustic Interiors. I'll put his details in the description below. Carlo Leo put me on to him and I'm so happy I made that level of investment I did. So when he came in here, it was a bare room, a lot of hard surfaces. If you look around, like if there's nothing here, you'll notice that it's a typical condo room, you know, lots of hard surfaces and that's just not good for people who want to produce and create music professionally and achieve pretty good mixes as a result. So what that was the first thing he did. He came into the room, made some suggestions and said, the first thing we really need to do is just understand the layout of the room. There actually is a leveling issue in this room Juan's been privy to that where it dips a little bit back here um, and as a result that actually affects the signal or how sound sound travels in this room. So he basically said we just need to deaden the sound. We need to flatten how sound travels on these flat surfaces ironically and we need to put diffusers in here along with you know a really good sense of control on the bass signals. All right so why don't we go uh, through the room left to right. So on the left side here is typical acoustic foam paneling. It obviously looks a lot different from what you're probably typically used to seeing like the egg carton uh, sort of pillar style acoustic foam pieces where you see guys throw egg carton style uh, acoustic foam up on their walls. This is a bit more stylish from a design perspective but it's achieving the same thing. So really it's helping to deaden the sound and make sure that whatever I hear coming out of this right speaker is exactly how it should be heard rather than bouncing all over the place if the room were not treated. Directly beside it to its right is one of two bass traps that I have in the room. You know, I want to show that over there one. So this is the, that's the second one. And they're actually elevated off of the ground, I would say by about, uh, I'd say three and a half feet off of the ground. And the reason for that is to control how bass frequencies work. When your room is not treated to handle bass frequencies, and I'm talking about things like anywhere between 20 hertz to, I don't know, up to 200-ish, 300 hertz around there, the signal's doing this, it's going all over the place. It's not necessarily controlled. So having the bass traps in place, and there's a rubber band directly behind each of these that help to diffuse the sound and make sure that what I hear coming off of my sub just down there is exactly the right level of bass that is occurring in the mix as I'm hearing it. So uh, we'll show a picture of what that rubber band looks like. I mean, these things are phenomenal. Uh, it really changes the aspects of how you handle and hear bass frequencies in a room. Let's move over to what is called the, I believe Marco called this the radiator. And I actually have uh, two others uh, that I'll show you in a bit. But this is the main radiator. 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 What are you? <laughs> We're talking tomato, tomato, American. Ugh. Right? Radiator. Project, project. It's a radiator here. So, <laughs> so the purpose of this is to sit in front of the glass, as you can see, and again, to help diffuse any uh, conflicting signals, like, you know, where things are moving around because sound moves in a wave. And this thing, because it's right in front of the glass, will ensure that the reflections po possibly coming off of the glass aren't happening. It just kills it right on the spot. So if I got a hi-hat, 
I know it's hitting appropriately. You can imagine like if I didn't have this in place, let's take the right speaker for example. If I had a hi-hat coming from here and this is a room with no treatment, what would happen is it would basically come out this way, come off of this wall potentially, bounce over here and over here. And it's not like I'm talking about a delay or anything like it's ping-ponging necessarily it's just the fact that we have that sonic information in the air that will be influencing the types of mixing decisions i would be making here and i want to be making mixing decisions that are based on the flattest references meaning that i'm getting what i expect out of a sound so this thing is probably one of the more expensive pieces in the room but vastly vastly <laughs> extremely improve uh you know a vast improvement and extremely important to getting what i expect out of the mixes in this room so let's continue over to the right side here so i spoke about the bass traps already they're elevated that is the second one on the right side and this is the uh what i call the five the square acoustic paneling you know i like the gray and black keeps it low key I know you can get them in different colors and you can also do some other crazy designs but it does the job man it definitely flattens the sound in this room and then i have a, another panel here off to the side here and this again is just to make sure we're trapping anything that's coming out of this listening area so i have one on this side and one directly behind you there one on the door uh, so let's talk about the theater curtains back here. Um, these are theater quality curtains that I have here to help deaden the sound. Uh, Marco made this suggestion just as, again, uh, call it almost like a last frontier of sorts that completely helped to deaden the sound. So, you know, I'm hearing the right things at the right time as well. So uh, these I purchased separately and then we got it installed. You might want to pan up and these are also they look like the radiators or radiators 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 <laughs> that i was talking about uh those in front of the glass window here just behind my computer uh these are directly above on the ceiling obviously to deal with the flat surfaces there too so again i'm getting a really nice flat reference uh, you can tell, like if you were to pull out all of these panels out of here, what you'd get is a very strong reverb kind of sound because it's all flat surfaces and the sound is just bouncing around. So having these, you know, because of the way sound travels and waves and it spreads open, like these are perfect. And you can really hear the difference. I've had people who visited my room who come from untreated rooms like, whoa, okay, this is different, I understand the quality. So uh, in terms of cost, uh, I believe this ran just over 5,000 or more. So I'm gonna say between five and 7,000 Canadian, worth every penny, uh, because if you think about if your room is not treated and you could say, yeah, I'll just use these quality open back Sennheiser HD650 headphones and mix in, in those but I could tell you it's it's I still find it very different and um, what you'll find yourself doing even though I have sonar works you know as a part of my um, room treatment uh, infrastructure um, you just save a lot of time by having a properly treated room you're not running to the car to test mixes out you're not asking your friend to bring over his Yamaha NS10s to test your mix out and checking out your mix on different Bluetooth speakers. Although I do recommend doing that stuff. Again, uh, you just save a lot of time and your mixes are much more accurate. So it's worth every penny because I value each and every minute of my time. So there you have it. That is the acoustic treatment in my room. I hope you enjoyed this video. I don't think I've delve very deeply into the elements of the treatment that I have in my room but let me know your thoughts and if you're interested in contacting the guy that built this one for me you'll see his details in the description below much love and respect peace